I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of sight. Just imagine all of the cool things that I could do with the power of super sight. I could look through one eye and see far away and see things up close. And I could even do that without using a telescope. Ooh. I'd make things look bigger with the power of my one eye. Yeah, like a super pirate. Arr, super R. But wait, I have two eyes. One eye is awesome. Then I'm guessing two eyes is double, no way, super awesome. Actually, have you ever thought about why we have two eyes and not just one eye like a pirate? Well, today I have an experiment that's going to show you why having two eyes gives us the superpower of something called depth perception. That's how you figure out whether things are close or far away. For this experiment, you're going to need a box. A shoe box is the best, but you can use an empty cereal box. Scissors, tape, two wooden skewers or sticks that are the same length, some card, a little bit of blue tack or plasticine, a pencil, a pen and a ruler. Our two eyes are actually not exactly the same. One eye is actually super powered more than the other one and it can see things much further away. You may not have noticed this but there's a really simple experiment for you to do to find out which eye it is. So make a triangle with your hands and your arms outstretched and focus on something really far away. Now keep focusing on it and slowly bring your hands back towards the center of your nose, making sure that you can still see the thing that you are looking at. Close one eye and see if you can still see your object. Now close the other eye and see if you can still see your object. And you'll find that with one eye the object moves and the other eye it stays the same. So whichever one it stays the same for, that is your dominant eye. In my case, it's this one. Now, normally we use both of our eyes and what we are able to do is put those two images together and we can perceive something called depth, which is how far away something is. And that way your brain knows when it sees two things that look similar in size, whether or not one is further away and bigger and the other is smaller but closer or whether it's two things that are actually the same size that are right next to each other. So this is a great thing that our brain can do from having two eyes and putting the two images together. Now let's see what happens if we take one eye away from our brain. So you're gonna take your shoe box and if your shoe box doesn't have a hole in the end of it, you're gonna cut a hole, but luckily my one has a hole here. If not, get your adult to help you cut that out. Okay, now I'm gonna take the lid off my shoe box and in the other end, I'm gonna pierce two skewers through the middle and all the way out. So again, get an adult because this may be very sharp. Okay, so you've got two skewers in your box. Next, you want to measure the dimensions of this end wall of your box. So mine is 12 high by 19 wide. So we want to make a rectangle that's the same dimensions. Now I also want to put some tabs on either side that are about five centimeters or so. We're gonna cut those out. I'm gonna fold along one line, and then I'm gonna fold against the other line. So you end up with a shape that looks like this, and hopefully this will fit perfectly, there it is, in the box. Next, you're gonna tape those tabs down so that it doesn't move inside the box. And now you want to push the skewers through that card as well. Now on the end of these skewers, you want to make two little circles. So you might want to draw around a coin or just freehand some circles. One of them wants to be bigger than the other. I'm gonna color those in and then cut them out. Okay, so here we have these two circles. You can see one is bigger than the other. We're gonna put a little bit of blue tack on the end and we're gonna stick one on each of our skewers. So I'll put the big one over here, put the smaller one on the other side. Okay, and so you can see that they're two different sizes. So here's the trick that you're gonna do. You're gonna give this to your friend and you're gonna ask them to put the lid on and you're gonna get them to use one eye to actually look inside the box. 
and you're going to adjust it so that they both look like they're exactly the same size and what that means is you have to bring the little one closer to you and the big one further away and your brain is going to think that they look exactly the same size and you're going to ask your friend whether or not they think these two things are the same size or whether they're different sizes and they're probably going to guess that they're the same size and then you can open the box and say no we fooled you it's not and it shows that only using one eye doesn't give you the perception of depth which means that you actually don't know whether or not it's bigger or just further away okay so there you go you can try it on all of your friends and all of your family and see whether or not they got it to be the right guess or the wrong guess hold on wait somebody's in my pocket what it's nano nano girl wait what you want you want to go and try it hold on have a look what do you think oh you think they're the same distance apart <laughs> she's wrong she's wrong that's okay because actually what we really need to do is make you a small one but um we're probably going to put you in this little box for now anyway and just keep you quiet no, you can't have an eye patch like me. The eye patch is just for me. Okay, never mind. Right, well, there we go. That's how you make a depth perception box. Have fun with that. This is the end of learning all about the superpowers of Super Sight, and it has been so much fun hanging out. We have learned so many things, things like how a rainbow's made and how is light made up of different wavelengths, which actually are split by water drops, which mean that we can see the different colors that we call the rainbow colors. We've also learned the word refraction and how it can bend light in a way that makes things look gigantic. And we can make a little microscope just out of some water. We put a baddie in jail with our spinning double images and we made the world look upside down with our pinhole camera. And after all of that, we also know that having two eyes gives us the superpower of depth perception, which is awesome. It's also why you don't fall over as often. I would love to see all of your experiments from this week, so please share them with us. Next week, we're gonna be exploring a brand new superpower, so I will see you then. See you later, superheroes. Bye.